Hello there, this is Freddy Michi TV. As for this video, ang gagawin naman natin na how to play video is guitar chords. The conspiracy to the great pro, which is uh, designed by Yang Yagoro and then published by Moadeas Game Design. So the overview to this game is that uh, Julius Caesar has liberated Rome. So, nagkaroon siya ng mga dazzling glory sa loob ng Rome where a lot of people do admire with his political power. But some of the people made this secret association in which they are called liberators or the liberators na they want to overthrow Caesar out of the authority so that they could restore the democracy or the uh, power back to sa loob ng Romismo. But one or three or two persons did that. Uh, isa doon is one of the spies that was then sent by Caesar and then uh, there might be a third party where also a liberator siya. But he wants to have something more personal na siya is being susunod na her with sa Rome. So it is a game of deception which is meron doon magkakaroon na suspicion or treachery within the law of the Rome. With that, I can't wait to teach you how the game works. But before I teach you how the game works, I would like to get this opportunity to my game detector. So game detector is one of the four game detectors here in the Philippines. They gave me this opportunity to make this video of how to play Tong Baronito, which is actually very awesome. With that, in a few seconds, I'll teach you how the game works and the initial setup of the game. So, bala ito na yung overall view ng components ng game besides the group. So, i-explain ko sila one by one. First muna, punta muna tayo sa player board. So, each player starts with their player board. Meron mga tatlong effects dito sa game. So, this is your character right here, and then your wife, and then your concerna right here. Dito sa lalim na to, which there are icons here and their effects, explain kayo mga icons in a moment once we proceed doon sa card components. So, ito naman, kung nakikita nyo, these are the identity cards. Ito yung harap niya, ito yung alit ko. There are three identity cards in the game, uh, which is the Republican, the Angel, at saka yung Competitor. So, if you're a Republican, what happens is that you're one of the Liberators. So, you want to overthrow uh, Caesar out of the political power. Proceeding naman dito sa agent, uh, you're one of the spies of uh, Caesar. You want to get Caesar more influence comparing to the liberators. And then proceeding naman by competitor, you're one of the liberators. But the catch is that you want to have your own personal influence comparing to other players. Kasi you want to kill Caesar and then the person who is gonna be getting uh, the next heir. You're gonna be one of the next person who's going to be having more political power. Uh, with that done, proceed naman tayo sa player board. So, itong player board na to, kung nakikita nyo, there is the blue side and then the red side. The blue side is the liberator side, and then this side is the Julius Caesar side. So, kung nakikita mo, uh, for a four-player setup, since that's how I'm gonna teach the game, this is the influence token. It's gonna be put here at the center of the zero tracker right here. Over here sa ilalim ng player board, this is your citizen deck. Yung citizen deck natin is actually uh, upon initial setup for a four player right? this is going to be shuffled and then discard eight cards so two four six eight so these eight cards will be out of the game and then what happens is that you'll be dealing cards here from left to right and then these cards there are following you, uh, following components at all so kung nakita nyo, this is the character so this name's character is legatus so legatus has uh, five influence here so this is his influence points over here naman is his bribe cost uh, which i'll explain later over here naman this is the higher cost in this case to hire him kailangan meron kang five gold coins and then on this side is his specific effects including with the flavor text right here so kung nakita nyo, there are three specific effects dito sa game this is the Caesar ability, indicated by the red icon. Over here naman, this is the yellow icon, which is the instant ability. And yung gray icon naman is the passive ability. Over here naman, sa kabila, these are your servant cards. 
So during the game, you can also hire these servants, which gives you personal boost or uh, it gives you an advantage. Because besides uh, giving them to your personal tableau, you can actually give or hire them as other players. Proceeding naman dito, these are your coins. So they are divided into three denominators. There are fives, ones, and then twos. Over here naman, these are like your influence points in the game. So two denominators naman sa game, which is are the five and ones. With that, I may now teach you how the game works. But of course, before that, initial setup. So during initial setup with the game, this, since this is a four-player setup, there will be always two Republicans, isang competitor, and then one agent. So ang nangyayari, you will be shuffled here, just like na kung ang ginagawa ako ngayon. And then one card will be dealt per player. So in this case, yung tatlo na to will be set aside for now. So to teach the game, ito, to check mo nyo. This is the Republican. So itong character na to or itong player na to will be a Republican. So ito naman yung influence token mo. We'll be put here for a four-player setup which is a zero. Proceeding naman dito sa citizen deck, what happens is that it will be shuffled here. Uh, for just for the purpose of teaching the game, I will include these three so that I could teach the game efficiently. So I shuffle these three. After shuffling the deck, what happens is that you'll be taking uh, these four cards here. Yung day of action will be placed here to the bottom of the deck. Placed it here. And then yung characters na to are the following na kailangan mong set aside, which is si Mark Anthony. Sassius is kasi Brutus. They will be set aside here and the upper side will be board. And don't forget to give each player 10 gold coins to start out with the game. So your first player determination dito sa level na to is the player who recently ate uh, Caesar salad. If ever man walang player na kumain ng Caesar salad, is that the oldest player starts in the game. So there will be three actions that you can do in a game, but you may only choose one action per one of those three. So the following three is endorsing a citizen, bribing a citizen, and uh, hiring a citizen. Proceed naman tayo sa endorsing a citizen. To endorse a citizen, what happens is that whenever you do that, you have to give a citizen kay Caesar. So, yung pinaka-rightmost dito, indicated by this uh, border here, itong character nito, which is si Legatus, will be placed here on the right side ng board. And then, whenever you endorse this citizen to Caesar, indicated by your board here, you'll always uh, get to receive 7 gold coins, as indicated by the great icon right here. Yung gray icon na yan, ibig sabihin, dahil passive ability yan, whenever you get a pre-requirement or yung certain conditions in the game that you can activate it, you may do so. In this case, because you endorse a citizen to Caesar, you'll be getting 7 gold coins and then uh, giving one player to your adjacent left and right uh, this influence point right here. And then, whenever you do endorse a citizen to Caesar, kung meron mga Caesar abilities ito, you may activate them now. If ever there are multiple Caesar abilities here in the board dito sa Caesar side, you can activate them in any order of your choosing. So in this case, so ang sinabi dito ni Legatus that you may pay 3 gold coins to get 1 influence point. So let's say, uh, yan yung ginawa ko. If ever man there's an excess in this case, uh, 5 gold coins yung bibigay ko you'll be getting those two gold coins back and then because of that in this case this player will be getting one influence point right here and then over here naman because you're of your concern and ability you may do so pero dahil wala pa tayong uh, citizen dito at the moment uh, you cannot activate it for now so whenever you do end your turn the citizens here will be uh, moved from left to right and then placing a new citizen for the players to choose from Proceeding naman sa second action, which is uh, bribing a citizen. Whenever you do bribe, what happens is that, let's say, sabihin natin, you want to bribe the senator right here. Uh, to bribe the senator, you will be needing 7 gold coins for that. Dito sa bribing a citizen, you may choose one of the three face-up citizens here, unlike dun sa endorsing a citizen, which is you can only do it to the right most of the board. So, sabihin natin, senator. So, senator will be placed here to the liberator side, but that player has to pay 7 gold points with to do that. Placing it to the liberator side, and then swaying the influence. Oh, sorry. If ever you're gonna be swaying the influence, nakalimut ako yung mention dito sa uh, Caesar side. 
So in this case, uh, the swaying of influence, okay, uh, there's a five influence point right here. Mali, it will be swayed here, five times, two, four, five, so five million. Uh, then, proceeding naman dito sa liberator side, since ang swaying influence dito is four, it will be swayed dito sa liberator side, so four times, one, two, three, four, dito lang siya. And then last but not the least is hiring a citizen. So whenever you do hire a citizen, you'll always uh, pay the specific amount of cost here. Dito sa bottom ng bet. Let's say sabi natin uh, this player here pays four gold coins to hire the recruiter. So to hire a recruiter, you'll be paying four gold coins. And then diet instant ability to. Uh, the instant ability says whenever you get this card, you take a courier and an informer from the supply and then give them to one or two players. So you will be placing this one to your board so that you can activate it. Otherwise, if you place it into other players' boards, they'll be the ones to activate uh, that effect instead. So let's say hey, huh? you took the informer and courier. Dial Jan, uh, let's say uh, you give this courier ability to yourself and then this informer you give it to anyone. So whenever you do hire a servant or citizen, you may give it to other players or to yourself. So in this case, we natin, binigay natin to other players. And then before I do for that, before ending your turn, you have an option to use your wife ability here. Dial sinasabi ni wife dito, you may hire a servant during your turn. So, your servant na to is these two right here. So, you may do so upon paying the two gold here provided by the cards dito. So, you can either give them to yourself or pass it to other players. And then, to see the winning condition of the game, uh, despite that na there are more uh, things that I have to teach you. The condition in the game is that if you're the liberators, what happens is that we have to sway the influence tracker here to the liberator side uh, once the day of action comes otherwise if ever you're the agent uh, you have to sway the influence to junior caesar side dito before the day of action comes uh, which is in day of action here is uh, yung sa bottom of the uh, citizen that dito then if ever man hindi nangyari yun uh, pag dumating yung day of action what happens is that kung agent ka, you have to have a majority of influence dito sa side ni Caesar comparing to the liberators right here. And then if ever man you're the competitor, you'll be swaying influence here dito sa uh, liberator side. But the catch is that you have to get a majority of influence points here dito sa pool neto. So sabihin natin, naubos na to ang deck of cards na to and then nagkaroon na ng day of action. So, whenever nagkakaroon ng revealing of uh, day of action, what happens is that uh, these two will be set aside first and then the day of action will be uh, passed aside. From left to right, there will be uh, Brutus, uh, Sassius, and then Mark Anthony that's going to be revealed in a game. So, ganun lang rin yung uh, turn order proceeding from left to right. And then the game ends if ever the citizen deck runs out or one of the conditions which is yung agent side uh, reaches here before the day of action. So now we proceed to the score. So to the score, I mean, in this case, uh, before that, you reveal your roles here. In this case, Republican character na tong player na to. At dahil dyan, because Republican uh, character siya, yung career ability in this case, the Liberators gets one personal uh, influence point right here. So sabihin natin, nagkaroon ng points si uh, Caesar na um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 points ito. Over here naman is... Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then plus 1 pa dito dahil sa ability na ito. So 17. So what happens that comparing the 17 against uh, 13. So what happens that Caesar has been overthrown to his position. Dahil dyan, uh, panalo yung Republicans. But if in yung character who is the competitor of this side, sabi natin yan, comparing of number of points so let's say player a has seven victory points right here player b has six victory points right here and then ito naman player c has 10 influence points so what happens is that you'll be only comparing your influence points not combining them with your republicans so in this case ayun na si mo ha seven points 
six points and then one, ten points. No? But that is that competitor wins instead of the Republicans. Dahil liberator side siya, pero meron siyang personal winning condition, which is comparing the number of personal influence uh, points here dito sa pool of each player. So in this case, nanalo si competitor in this tutorial. And that's how you play the Brawl Now, before I do end this video, I actually have two more cards here that I haven't explained within the video. So, uh, depending on the starting um, count of players in this case, you have to add this to the seed star of supporters area at the start of a 5 to 6 player game. Otherwise, on 3 player game, uh, there's gonna be set aside dito sa Liberatoria supporter area. Dito naman, if ever man you want to tweak up the game's difficulty, you can add this uh, whenever you're starting the game, either to the laboratory side or to the season side. With that, I officially uh, close this tutorial. If ever man you have any more questions or reactions or suggestions in my channel, please do comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and then like the video if ever man you to my content call, and then you want to be updated in regards to my uh, gaming content and also in my in real life adventures. Please do share this video so that uh, others may know that there are some games such as this one if ever man that they want something uh, political because a bit diplomatic tong government has uh, you know uh, suspicion and treachery and everything. And then I guess that's it for this video. So again, this is Shiki Yuki signing off and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Without further ado guys, I do give you my best regards. Cheers.